All right, guys. It's time to open up the vaults. So you want to know how to be a tsundere? You want to know? Well, today you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn today. I have opened up the wikihow vaults. They are open up. In Japan, a tsundere is a person, usually female, who acts aloof. Aloof. And or rude to another person, typically their love interest, and eventually shows kindness over time. The meanness of a tsundere in the beginning can range from egotistical aloofness to a violent and short temper. An example of an aloof and cold tsundere is Rima Mashiro of Shuga Kara or Victoria Quick? I what? Whatever, that's not the point. Sundaris are considered cute and many manly men love women who exhibit sundere traits. So basically love men love sundaris. Basically guys get off on on girls bossing them around and being mean to them. Pretty much is what I'm getting. To, to my understanding, that is, that's basically what a tsundere actually is, you know, if a guy's into that kind of thing. So this is three, three ways to be a tsundere. Uh, they better be good ways, because there's only three of them. It better be a sure way, because after this, I'm going to be the ultimate tsundere. Method number one, being tsundere to your crush. I love how they went for the realistic pictures here. They decided to do it themselves. No, no anime. Kinda, it's kind of disappointing, I'm not gonna lie, but this is pretty much the only one there was out there. Okay, so you gotta develop an edge. If you are in love with someone, restrain yourself and don't let those feelings spill over. At least not in an overly affectionate way from the get-go. Don't overdo it by acting too violent, but definitely play hard to get. Don't show those signs too early or he might run away. He might scurry on off. Ladies, make sure you hook, you hook your man. Pretend that you're nice, but you know, just put on a whole persona. Don't even be you at first. And then once you get him hooked in there, once you got him in the palm of your hands, that's when you get a chair and smash him across the face. That's all it takes. And he'll love you forever. I would know. Worked on me. <laughs> Better yet, give them a nickname. That is bound to press a button or two. For example, Araya from Hidan no Araya calls her crush and fellow Sundari Kinji idiot Kinji. However, keep in mind that not everything you say will pay out the way it does in anime. So remember kids, uh, life is not always like anime. I mean, it is about just 90% of the time, but you know, in this case, it's probably not gonna be like anime, for sure. <laughs> you got to be aware of his or her reaction to the name and moderate your usage accordingly. If you blush, that's even better. Guys, just put on that act. Put on that act. Put on some extra blush that day, please. God, the people who create these are just twisted. If you get an opportunity to help your crush out, then pass it off with a self-serving excuse. For example, the classic phrases, I didn't do this for you, and it's not like that, baka. Just play so hard to get, really. Just play very, very hard to get. First, you gotta put on the act, pretend like you care about him at all, you know, just a little bit, just, you know, get the hook in there. And then treat him like complete crap, just dirt on the bottom of your foot, and uh, you should be well on your way to becoming a tsundere. For an idea of this, listen to the songs Just the Girl by The Click 5, I don't know what that is, but, and Hot and Cold by Katy Perry, I do know what that is. Both songs are about being in love with a tsundere. Is that, is that what Katy Perry had in mind when she was making that song? I had no idea. Confirmed, guys. If Katy Perry watches Toradora, it's confirmed, pretty much. The wiki house said it. When you two are in private, get in touch with your sweet side and cut him a break. Give just... You know, you, once you're done kicking him on the ground, he's crying, you know, begging for help, just wants a little bit of attention from a cute girl, you know, you just gotta give him that little break. Give him that just little, little bit of slack. Now is the time to be open up and be a tiny bit nicer to your crush than usual. Your partner will love this. You'll really get him. Over time, building on that and be nicer with more frequency, but remember to tease him. Remember, don't be too nice or he might actually think you're a decent girl. And we don't, we definitely don't want that. That's red flags. Don't do that. Don't be a good girl, okay? Because men hate that. God, I hate it. Oh my God, I hate it when girls are nice to me. I hate it so much. Yeah. Oh, here's the best part. If he says something stupid, if he opens his stupid fat mouth, react with a vengeance. But please, don't go overboard. Don't go overboard. The constant punches in anime might land you in jail. A light slap on the upper arm to represent him slash her usually does the trick, so as long as you make light of it, just a little slap. <laughs> a little... No, you gotta really, you gotta really get in there. 
Ow, that hurts. Okay, let's get back to reality. You gotta remember that you don't really want to hurt your crush. You don't, okay? If he or she's sensitive and does not like your coldness towards him or her, apologize to him or her. So now you gotta change yourself. Because if you're really hurting him, he's not gonna like it. What, what does this guy want? Does it want it to be student editor or not? You gotta do it, you gotta go full speed ahead. If you wanna be, if you wanna be a student editor, you gotta, you gotta go all out. You gotta throw books right, right at his face. Honestly, if you wanna do it right. Don't forget to give them presents on special occasions, especially something handmade like Valentine's Day chocolates. But remember to note that this isn't a huge deal to you. I'm not going to do- I'm not doing this to be sweet, baka. That- that should be your mentality. Later, you can approach them and say, I hope you liked the insert present here with a cold tone and expression. Repeat this love-hate method. There is a method to becoming Sundari, guys, and you must follow this guide. Be- be nice to your friends, but loudly tell them to shut up in a fluster state if they say something stupid or make an inappropriate joke. Try to blush and scowl and ball your hands up into a fist like this. You gotta do- you gotta do the fist. Look at her. Look at- She's so freaking mad right now. We're- it- I'm sorry, but this is like getting slight like borderline weeaboo <laughs> right here. I mean, if you have to act like a tsundere, okay, it's like, okay, I have tsundere personalities where like, okay, I could come off as kind of, kind of mean, but I don't really mean it. There's that, and then there's actually doing the whole lip thing that she's doing with the fist. When you actually have it in your head, you have it in your head to combine these things to have an appearance. I mean, she's got the, the pigtails and everything. Seriously, there's it's, it's there's a problem now. It needs to stop. It really does. But then it goes on to say, don't go overboard with a tsundere personality. You just gotta be yourself. Don't try too hard to be a tsundere, or people will think you are fake. Tsundere is basically the same thing as love hate. So keep a keep it at a natural level. But the fact that you're even thinking about being a tsundere means that it's kind of like you're trying to be a tsundere. If you want some tips, be powerful and confident because you don't really need a partner to be happy. At least that's the mentality you're going for. That, at least that's what you're going for, at least. Not what you really want, but it's what you're going for if you're going to become a tsundere. You are rude, crude, and full of attitude, and that's just the way you like it. Mm, you really like it. Okay, so we got some key, key things to remember, guys, from this lesson today. Remember, you treat your man like complete crap. You treat him like crap. You know, if he says hello, just, you know, go crazy. Go crazy, throw a desk at him. I don't know. I would say there's a lot of girls out there that are pretty great at doing this already, you know? I think so. I hope to God no one takes it seriously. I really, really do, because it's, it'd be really sad if someone was actually taking this seriously. You... I mean, people are naturally like this already. You don't have to say, oh, I'm a tsundere. Oh my god, this has... This has 238 reviews. It's very, <laughs> it's rated very helpful. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just a joke, though. You know, I'm just joking, guys. But seriously, though, you shouldn't think, oh, hey, I, I need to, I need to be a tsundere. I need to have these pigtails and stuff like that. You know, if you want to dress like that, cool, whatever, but come on, just treat men right. It's not hard. I hope you guys learned a lesson today on how to be a tsundere. I had to open the vaults. That is a hard thing to do. But if you guys have any more suggestions for more wiki hows, I would love to make more videos. I really hope you like it. If you do like this series, uh, do leave a like because that tells me that you guys enjoy me making these videos. Also, if you did like this video, please do subscribe because I do make all kinds of videos like this and make a lot of anime content and just things that I enjoy in general. If you guys want to find out how to become a Yandere, I made a video on that as well. You can go ahead and just click this eye up here. I'm BG Mike and I will see you scrubs in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Aloof.